Dear brothers and sisters, it is with a heavy heart that I come to you today to speak about a difficult topic. Toxic friend groups. We all have friends, and they play an important role in our lives. They can provide comfort, laughter, and support. But sometimes, they can also be a source of negativity, toxicity, and even harm. As Christians, we are called to love one another, to support one another, and to build each other up. However, sometimes we find ourselves in situations where our friends are not doing that for us. Instead, they may be dragging us down, causing us pain, or leading us away from God's path. If you find yourself in such a situation, it is important to take a step back and reflect on what is happening. Are your friends encouraging you to live a godly life? Are they helping you grow in your faith? Or are they tempting you to stray from the path of righteousness? If the answer is the latter, it may be time to leave that toxic friend group behind. Now, I know that this is easier said than done. We may feel a sense of loyalty to our friends, or we may fear being alone. But we must remember that our ultimate loyalty is to God, and that He will always be with us, even if we have to walk away from some friendships. In fact, leaving behind toxic friendships can be a sign of strength courage, and faith. It shows that we are willing to put God first, even when it is difficult. It also opens up space in our lives for healthy, positive relationships that will support us in our walk with Christ. If you are struggling with a toxic friend group, I encourage you to pray for guidance and strength. Talk to a trusted mentor or counselor who can help you navigate this difficult situation. And most importantly, remember that you are not alone. God is always with you. And there are many others in this community who will support you as you make the difficult but necessary decision to leave behind toxic relationships. I want to remind you of these words from 1 Corinthians 15.33. Do not be misled. Bad company corrupts good character. Let us choose our friends wisely, and let us surround ourselves with those who will build us up in Christ. It's important to recognize that leaving behind a toxic friend group is not an easy decision, and it may come with some challenges. You may feel lonely at times, or you may miss the comfort and familiarity of your old friends. However, it's important to remember that staying in a toxic friendship can be even more damaging in the long run. Toxic friends can drain your energy, cause stress and anxiety, and lead you down a path that is harmful to your mental, emotional, and spiritual health. They may try to keep you in their circle by guilting or manipulating you, or by making you feel like you're the problem. It's essential to recognize these behaviors and understand that they are not acceptable. When you make the decision to leave a toxic friend group, you may need to set boundaries and distance yourself from those friends. You may need to say no to invitations or messages, and you may need to find new activities or groups to fill the void. It may be challenging but remember that it's essential to your well-being and your spiritual journey. As Christians, we are called to love one another and to be in community with each other. However, that doesn't mean we should tolerate negative or harmful behavior. We can love our friends, but we must also love ourselves and prioritize our well-being. If you are feeling overwhelmed or struggling to leave a toxic friend group, don't hesitate to reach out for help. You can talk to a pastor, counselor, or trusted friend who can offer guidance and support. And remember that God is always with you, even in the most difficult times. Most difficult 